Hi, this is Dave Golly from Pentagon Solutions and um, I'm going to take a quick look at how to create a custom staircase. Firstly, I'm going to create a new project and use the default TBR ENU template. A staircase is a system family, so it's contained within the template or Revit file itself. So, we're going to have a look at the modelling tab and I can look at my actual stair component. If I have a look at the element properties, you'll see the various different types of stair properties that are actually listed. So I've got private. Well, I can make a copy of that. I can edit that and duplicate this. And let's call this Pentagon Glass. Okay. We can look at the properties and I can say, well, the tread material needs to be, say, glass. So if I scroll in, or long, we'll use glass. I'm going to state that the tread depth is about 250. I'm going to say the riser is about 190, but I don't want any visible riser. So where it says riser type straight, I'm going to take this back to none. If I look at my left and right stringers, well, because it's glass, I don't want any stringers actually attached to this. So again, I'm going to say none. I'm going to hit OK. Pentagon glass, I'm going to hit OK. The railing types, we're going to change this to none and hit OK. So we're ready to do our run for our stairs. So I can pick a point on the screen. And let's make this, say, a radius of 1,000 and finish the sketch. So if we have a look at that in 3D, you'll see our glass staircase. But say we need a custom beam to support this running the whole way up. Well, what we can do is create a new family. In this new family, we can create a profile that is a metric profile for the reel. So we can look at the reel center line and reel top, etc. Well, what we can do actually here is sketch some line work. We can add a construction line inset, it needs to be offset 50 mil down. So again, I'm going to draw some line work in here. across, 10 down, 45 in, 50 across, 45 in. Again, we'll finish off the remainder of our actual beam, just by tracking the components up. And that's our profile made. We can delete our original construction line. So we save this profile, say back into the desktop, we'll call it railing. Profile 1 and hit save. We can very quickly load this into the projects. And that's it now available. So under our system families, we can have a look at railings and select one of our railing types and say duplicate the 900 railing. Again, we can rename this and change the properties. So we'll say custom glass railing. If I look at the properties of it, we can change the rail structure. I can say, well look, let's change this components here, make the offset back to zero, make the height back to zero, and we'll make the default profile our railing that we've just loaded in. So if we scroll down, we should see railing profile one. Again, we can give it a material definition by category, say a likes of metal steel, and head apply and okay. Again, we can actually hit apply and OK, and we can change the baluster placement in here. So we could say, look, there's none for any of the family members. Again, hit apply and OK, and apply and OK. So to bring this railing in, if we go to railing, change our railing types to our custom glass railing, we could go in and set our host. Again, we could use our arc for our lines. We could pick our first point, our end point, and where our railing must go to, and finish the sketch. So if we have a look at that in 3D, we'll see our custom steam beam going up on our railing. That concludes the first part of our custom staircase.